Okay, we're back. I'm gonna go up here and work up on top. Let's see if we can get that thing off the tank up there. I'm sure there's nothing dangerous involved about this one. Nothing at all. All right, I think that's loose. Try to get this adapter off of here because this is wrong size because that's big all the way at the top. <clears throat> it's not one inch, it's inch and a quarter. That's a disadvantage of this process here. And that looks like it's probably going to be tight. So we're going to try a big one, big wrench up there. Try this one, see if it moves. Oh yeah, it's, it's nice and loose. See any problem at all getting this off? Yeah. All right. This is going to go this way. This go that way. Leverage. There we go. Now I can use your hands together. Oh, that hurt. Bang yourself good. I think there's a reason why that's in there like that. It won't come off. I need some pipe. I need a piece of pipe to go into this. I'll go find something. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm back. I got a piece of four six over wide glide fork tube. There you go. Perfect. <clears throat> Just what we need. Leverage. Don't stand underneath the ranch and might hit you in the head. That would hurt. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Oh, 
this piece of crap is too big. And I never liked blue wrenches anyway. Stay put. Use a smaller red one. <coughs> yeah, this is too. This is the wrong size wrench for the job. That's why I use American tools. So that way when you do the wrong thing, it still might work. There we go. You know, you need a little leverage. Drop your tools. The problem is this is in the way. That's how you do that. Look at that. It's, that came right off of there. No problem at all. Like butter. Probably fork tooth come in handy. They helped me earlier. Hurt my thumb. Dangerous. Okay. I'm hoping that goes in there. I need a street L. They come straight out and go up. That's the plan anyway. Okay, now we gotta take all this stuff off down here. That wasn't dangerous at all, what I just did. Perfectly fine. Damn. All this stuff is tight. Bigger. Bigger tools work better than small tools. You give it a big jerk and it breaks it free easier than pulling on it all the way. <clears throat> so this is going to be a special fitting in here that we're going to have to reuse. Actually, we're going to reuse it 100% because we're using this too. Yeah, this thumb hurts. It's got jammed it up. The problem with this is this is only a 90 degree fitting.
go. Which one's gonna give first? We got the persuasion device right here. Yeah, that was the one. It is copper tubing. Didn't look copper on the outside. Some kind of protective coating on it. All right. So I have to get some lubricant on these threads here to make it freer next time. All right, so that's off. So now we gotta try to get that big fitting out of the head right there. It's a nice big fitting there. So we're gonna reuse this one down here. This we're reusing, so we don't have to take it out right now. Cause I don't have a flex hose. If I had a flex hose, I'd get all this crap out of here. But. So I'm gonna have to reuse this piece so we don't wanna damage it. Better use the correct cause wrench then. <clears throat> yeah. If you don't like that, it's going to tear up this fitting a bit. Oh yeah, it just did. Oh yeah. I knew it was gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of lube on these fittings here. Just to make these turn a little easier. There we go. A bunch of paint on here also. See, I knew it was going to damage it, but we damage it first before we do anything about it. So that's how you work around here. Okay, so we get this freed up a little bit down here. This one over here. Free it up. Okay, now we got to try to put this nut back in there. and Hopefully I didn't damage that too bad. Because if I did, we got a problem. Yeah, it's not too happy. It's like somebody screwed it up or something. You know? What's up with that? Going back in the hole. That means it'll fix itself. Okay. Let's see. Try a different tool. Oh, 
might be slightly less aggressive on the fitting, but still pretty aggressive. Thing pop. I wonder if it popped the big nut. It might have. It's definitely tight. Tight. At this point, I have to take it out because I have no choice. Because <clears throat> the tube is going to hit the air compressor. So hopefully, I don't have enough less pressure. It'll Collapse it too bad. No, oh, it's, it's definitely not helping any. Damn. It looks like a straight thread, it's not a tapered. At least it's not that tapered one. Yeah. It's not a tapered pipe thread, it's a different thread. It's a straight thread. So if I screw it up, I'm screwed. Size of it now. Let's see if that'll do it. And jerk it instead of just pulling on it. That spread the load out a little bit, so you still got it to move. It's not very good. There it goes. Did not want to come out of there. It's brass, so yeah. You can see how I just collapsed the tube right around the fitting there. Hopefully, it uh, still goes in there. Mm. 
I hope it's starting, but oh, it's not a happy camper, let me tell you. Oh well, it's out. That's all that matters. Okay, now I get this big one out of here. Now this one here, I should be able to put a big socket on there once I figure out what size it is. Actually. Right here, I hope. Maybe that's... Yep, it's this size right here. So we need to go find a big socket. Who's got a big socket laying around? I don't know what size that inch and a half, inch and five eighths, inch and three quarters. How big is this socket? I don't have a lot of big sockets here, so I'm not sure what I got. I'm hoping it's 5 A's. Let's use a 7 A's. Ooh, look at that. It's not that. This is 7 A's. So that means this thing's pretty big. means I probably do not have a socket here to do this. So this is, whoa, yeah, great. So it's 13 sixteenths. Yeah, nice standard size. Who's got a 1 and 13 16 socket laying around? I doubt if I do. Let's see here. I got a bunch of junk tools laying down here I never use. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't even know what's down in here. Looks like a torque wrench or something. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, well, that's a cam bearing install, too. Yeah. That's why I don't remember because I don't work on cars. Work it down there. Yeah, I'm not seeing what I need. See, it's too big. I don't have big ass tools. There's some tools under here. Let's go here. Let's go see what we got down here because I don't know. It's a secret. Shit. Ooh, almost. We got one. What's this metric? China. Ooh, that's good stuff. Three quarter. Three quarter does not fit. This is probably seven ace. Yep, seven ace. Too loose. So. Looks like a 13 16 is not a standard size socket. What a shocker, huh? Alright, I'm going to bring my 7 ace with me then. Oh, that's 5 ace. I need 7 ace. Well, 7 ace is my big one. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this is weird. Who works on air compressors anymore? Okay, now we gotta go over here. Okay, this is a 12 point which likes to spin. Yeah, that time is sore. That's a six point. They don't spin as much. Let's see, it's not the right size. It'll work. This is half inch drive. So I'm going to have to use a breaker bar on it. This is three quarter drive. I can use my big one on it. Okay, so what do we got for a breaker bar and toolbox here? Is that working hardly? Don't work on big ass trucks. So we got this one right here, which is kind of small. 
think I have a bigger one in here somewhere. Got that one. Got this one. <clears throat> so what's better, Craftsman or Proto? Proto. Unless I can find something better. Maybe I have an adapter. Maybe that would take care of the problem, wouldn't it? We got some adapters around here. Oh, a lot of big junk. Yeah. If I had a three quarter to a half inch adapter. Scooby treats. Like this one right here. See, that's when you need a big airline, big zip gun. There you go. That'll take care of it. If we have any air. Okay, I got enough crap here to keep me busy for a while. Okay. Look at all this junk. All this to get a nut out of an air compressor. <laughs> 